seems rather obsessed with having women take on great white sharks. I'm really not sure why. They tried it uh, a year ago with Blake Lively in the shallows, and now they're back with Mandy Moore and Claire Hoyt, this time in 47 meters down. The movies don't work. Cinematic class is about to be in. The professor is in. You know, 47 meters down is, wow, for the type of hype that it's receiving and they're showing the sharks and the girls stuck in the cage and all that. And this is a mild, mild movie. There is hardly any violence in this at all. In fact, this movie could very easily be a Disney movie of the week. The sharks in this movie are actually secondary characters. I think the reason is because director Johannes Roberts is a worldwide diver. So he accents a lot on the diving conditions. We know more about air tanks, how to switch them, and how fast they run out of air than we do about the attacking sharks in this movie. You know, the film features a brand new underwater you know, tank for the people to shoot in Pinewood Studios built this thing in the Dominican Republic. It's 65,000 square feet uh, in size. It's, it's absolutely massive. And, uh, you know, after sitting through this movie, I got to tell you, I think the whole purpose of 47 Meters Down was to give Pinewood Studios a chance to use their new underwater tank and see how it works as far as the cinematography and all that's concerned. Look, if you spend money on a ticket for this movie. Don't say I didn't warn you. This is a made-for-TV movie, and at that, you'll use it only as background noise while you're doing other things. Don't forget, if you want to see my complete review on 47 Meters Down, check out the official Outtakes with Fiore blog spot. You can find that at outtakeswithfiore.blogspot.com. And for those of you in the Pittsburgh area, every Monday at 7, Thursdays at 9 and Saturdays at 2, it's Outtakes with Fiore on Channel 32 along the Verizon Fios network. Now that you have learned what you have learned, here endeth your lesson.